Now, welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you've been here before. Now, as the title of the video says, today we are going to be talking about winter coats. If you live in the northern hemisphere or if you experience winters, I'm talking about snow, I'm talking about minus temperatures, then this is definitely the video that you want to watch. I'm going to be covering the five essential coats to carry you throughout the season. And so if you are interested in finding out more, I'm going to be covering the parka, the puffer, the pattern, the play and the polished. As a lover of play on words, I thought that a P alliteration would be the perfect thing to help you guys remember these essentials. And so if you want to find out what those are, then please keep watching. The first coat that I want to feature is my parka. Uh, this particular parka was purchased from Red Sack. Um, and what I also want to mention is that for each coat, I've paired it with a pair of boots that I would normally style it with. Sometimes I mix and match between these, but I thought it be, could be really cool just to show you guys a complete ensemble. And that's about it, I think, for introductions before getting into this. So let's do that, shall we? This is my Red Sec Parka, as I mentioned. Um, it is extremely warm. It is um, down on the inside and it has a double zip, so it really helps to keep that cold out. The zipper also comes up pretty high. And then, I don't know if you noticed, but there's this kind of extra padding. So with this coat, I really don't need a scarf or anything. Um, it really just kind of has it all. And then there's like this fur front. Um, and then here I have my hood. The hood is so important to me because on those cold days, the wind just, it just comes at you with all it's got. So um, this hood has been very lovely for that. What I thought could be cool is to just also style it with something that is not black. These are my earmuffs from Art Den. And then what I would typically do also is pair it with, um, these are my Zara combat boots and they're kind of like like rhinestones and stuff on them. Uh, and so yeah, I would pair it with something like this on days when it's not too snowy and then when it is really snowy, then I also uh, have a pair of winter boots for that. But yeah, that's it. Next up is the, I would say cousin to the parka and it's the puffer and why they are cousins is because I would say that they tend to both have the same uh, volume um, to their composition. Like the parka, as you can see, it's, it's quite fluffy and the puffer, hence its name, tends to be quite puffy. This one here is from H&M and this is a faux leather puffer. Um, one thing that I love about them, if you do sometimes want that more casual outfit or even in terms of temperature, if it's a little bit milder, but you want kind of, you know, maybe just the top of you needs to be warmer and, and you're not having to worry about, about your bottom half getting cold, um, then these are really nice. I styled this with a jogger underneath, a jogger set, um, a lavender one, and you can check that out on my Instagram. Sometimes I wear also uh, like chunky cable knit sweaters. Um, and so this is what I really wear when it's when it's not too cold. And I find that these are nice if you have a little bit more of an edgy, uh, casual wardrobe or, or style uh, because they play to that really well. Like automatically this outfit kind of has a little bit more of a gut, grungy feel. One thing that I love about it is that you can also adjust the puffiness of it. So. I just did it there and as you can see it's, it almost kind of crops it even more which is really nice but if you're kind of over that then you can also deflate it and then it has just a nice almost straight line there but yeah I love this one love it love it love it all right so we did parka we did puffer and now what's next is pattern this pattern uh, coat double breasted coat was purchased from dynamite and this is just such a classic pattern. I find that um, the pattern really reminds me of those kind of Chanel uh, blazers. I just find it really elegant. But then here there's also kind of like these shoulder pads. I have very narrow shoulders, so I find the shoulder pads kind of add a nice little um, emphasis here that, that I really like. 
Uh, these are actually not even double breasted, like triple breasted, which I think is pretty nice as well. And it's really long. This goes to my ankle and I'm 5'6". So if you are um, shorter than me, then this might be too long, but there's obviously so many different types of pattern coats. One of the reasons why I would suggest it is because in the winter, one of the first things that people are gonna see is your coat, right? So, um, you know, sometimes you might even go to an outing and it's not even a place where you're necessarily gonna take off your coat. And so it's really nice when you have just a fun pattern coat that is a statement piece in and of itself. Um, and so you can you can rock it with something simple or again I've also styled this with a red um, turtleneck cable knit sweater and that was really fun so I find that it's really nice to kind of get a coat that's also a little bit more fun and and um, versatile and a statement piece in and of itself for those occasions when you are not taking it off um, and uh, yeah I really really love this one it, again it's not for those deep winter days that are super freezing but again one of the things that are essential in winter uh, is layering so you know you would want to have maybe a tank top and then a turtleneck and this then I think that you would you would kind of be fine so um, yeah I, I love this I love this a lot now, similar to the pattern, we have playful. Now, the definition of playful can vary. I thought that I would give it the bracket of playful, one, to like be honest, to go along with my alliteration, but also because playful might be different for many people. A pattern coat might be playful to you, but for me, a playful coat is something that is varied in, in its texture. And so this is like a faux Sherpa coat. Um, and this is one from Arden. This is the one that I featured, I think, in my latest Arden video. And I love this one. It's playful because, again, it is this really, really beautiful um, material. And one of the things, too, that allows it to be a little bit more playful is, you know, it's like soft, it's textured, it's cool, it's cute. And you can kind of, um, vary this with the the different items that you would pair with so i find something like this with it is really cool but if you want to go full out playful then you can pair it with a pair of snake print boots like i'm going to show you guys in a minute um and it could be a lot but if you're someone who has you know a uh, also playful personality then i think that your clothing should reflect you um, not the other way around so i think that you should wear your clothes and not your clothes wear you and so if you're someone who is playful and, and likes to experiment and explore and have fun with their clothing then I would say definitely reach for a playful coat. Last but certainly not least is the polished coat. This particular one is in a camel color and this one was purchased from Zara. I've had this one for quite a few years and I don't plan on parting with it anytime soon. Uh, this is one of the essential coats to me because I find that if ever you're going out, you know, for a, a fancier event, whether it's even just a business casual dinner party or um, birthday or even for something like an interview, these are the kinds of items that you can just put on top of a very simple all black outfit for example and automatically it just has the outfit looking just very put together and polished this is something that I would pair with my patent leather Aldo booties um, and I find that just again having just a little bit of a different texture when you are wearing like all black so here I have like a cotton shirt and then here I have uh, full leather pants and then I'm gonna have my patent leather um, booties and I find that all together with this camel on top it's gonna look really really chic you can even throw on a scarf and you know just kind of add to it and especially if it is a little bit colder then a scarf would help because contrary to the the parka or the puffer it doesn't zip all the way up um you have buttons here and so that's one thing you might want to factor in just wearing like a nice sweater or you know if it is not as cold then this is definitely a perfect coat for again those days that are not too 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 cold well we've completed all five coats we featured the parka the puffer the pattern the playful and the polish and all that's left to say is that's a wrap 
All right, guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know down in the description bar below if there are any other items that you want me to focus on. Maybe you want to know how to rock faux leather items. Maybe uh, you are curious how to rock different sweaters for the winter. Maybe you want to know some alternatives to jeans. I don't know, but you do, so please leave them down in the comments. I love reading them and replying to you guys. And if you enjoyed this video and are enjoying the others, then please like always like subscribe and share with your friends that's just one of the ways that you can support me thank you so much for watching and have an amazing week i will see you so 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 soon